What's up, Green Bolt? Time for another real estate update here in the upstate. Let's kick this one off a little bit differently with a national headline you might see a little bit. Reported from Inman News, mortgage purchase application data is up to the highest level since May. It's July 2023. What does that mean at a national level? And then I'll break it down for us locally here in Greenville. Typically, May is the month where all the buyers hit the market and all the homes hit the market. Spring is the hottest season for real estate. So it's really interesting to see mortgage purchase application data climb here into the middle of summer. It's July 2023. This is a time I'm recording this video. So what that means is despite the high rates, buyers are out there getting mortgages. They're out there buying homes. There's a lot of buyer demand in the market. So many people felt like high rates were just going to crush the market in general and prices were going to fall. Here's the reality check. Affordability did decrease, but demand for homes did not. And I'm seeing that at almost all price points. So let's take things locally and go to the Bird Dog Group, Greenville.com, sub 300K home tracker. I'm tracking the floor of Greenville's market and stuff a little bit below our median price point because I think it's a great indicator for other aspects of the market. So we're actually at 135 units this month. That's actually a little bit of an increase from last month, which is great if you're trying to buy a home for less than 300,000. This month, you've gotten a little more choice than you did in the months prior. This is actually the first increase I've seen since November of last year. So generally a good thing for buyers. But here's the thing I wanna set a realistic expectation about. If we do not see these numbers trend back into the 300s or 400s in December, that's the slow time of the year it's going to mean something i've been talking about for a while now which is a rising floor here in greenville basically we may continue to see the floor of the greenville market notch its way up as people relocate here as mortgage demand continues to stay strong and as a lot of sellers are staying put that's really the type of transaction that has reduced in this market with the higher rates you factor in all those variables it just means the cheaper end of the spectrum which you can buy a home is going to fade away so i strongly encourage my buyers who have a sub 300k budget frankly, to have a little more of a sense of urgency because your choice factor and amount of inventory to select from may not necessarily last forever. So just keep that in mind and think about your housing choices you want to make over the next couple of years. Now, let's talk about the sell side of the market for a second and the upper end of the price spectrum, even luxury. What are we seeing there? Well, I'm also seeing that rising floor concept at the higher end price points, even in the fours, fives, and beyond here in Greenville. The general census of what I see and feel in the market is a concept of feels like a deal. In other words, people, uh, consumers who are out there shopping today, they're savvy. They're smart, they have data at their fingertips, they have AVMs, that's automated valuation models, at their fingertips, Zestimates, Redfin estimates, you name it. So when they look at a home, when they look at those automated valuation numbers, they're gonna ask themselves an initial question. Does this feel like a good deal? When you've got higher rates this year than we have had in years past, people are thinking about the affordability factor and they're pulling back a little bit, especially at the upper end of the market. If it doesn't feel like it's priced to be a good deal in the home, people are holding off. So I strongly encourage my sellers just to remember overpricing is probably one of the biggest mistakes you can make in this market you've got to price it so people say hey i'm getting good value here let's put that offer in let's make the move let's pull the trigger and that's what we're generally seeing when a home hits the market with generally good pricing and it's in move in and turnkey condition it's definitely getting multiple offers if you're not getting a lot of activity on your home in the first week or so on market, you may have overpriced a little bit, or we just need to think about a different strategy based on the location or the condition of the home. So last but not least, what I wanna talk about is move up and move down buyers. As you may have seen on my channel this year, we rolled out Modern Bridge Financing, where we can help people have a seamless way to go from house A to house B. We can help you buy your next home in cash, and then you can finance that home after you sell your current one. So if you're feeling stuck in your current home because it's so hard to be a buyer right now because of high rates and high demand simultaneously, reach out to us here at the Bird Dog Group. We have new and modern solutions and we can help you in a whole lot of different ways. So that's gonna cap off my market report for this month. 
always feel free to send me a DM, call, text, or email myself and my team if you need information or have a real estate question. Hit the follow button if you want to get more real estate updates and more tips.